We've just landed in Sydney. Yay! Oh, he can't even see us. I've been up since 3.30 this morning and I'm beyond buggered, but I'm really excited to be here. And Tom, what's... <laughs> Why are we here? For a holiday. <laughs> Nothing's happening. <laughs> We're not... The concert's cancelled. We don't joke about that. But we don't talk about Bruno. But we're going to see Bruno Mars! I'm so excited. Can you tell Tom's excited too? <laughs> Anyone that knows me knows that before Tom there was Bruno, basically. So I've seen him live three, three times? Three or four? So I think, I think this is number four. Oh, but he's doing two nights in Sydney, so we've come here for a few days and be nice to hang out today. Concert's tomorrow, but we are bloody starving, Marvin. So we're going to go get some food. Get some food in my belly. Yeah. Actually, I'll show you guys the room quickly. So we've got this cute little Airbnb in Surrey Hills. It's called the Green Room. And I guess it's because it's green. <laughs> Perfect little spot. Lots of food nearby, which we're keen for. And then bathroom, that's that. So I literally got my Bruno merch on. Gonna go out, get breakfast, come freshen up, and then, I don't know, maybe go to the harbour or something like that. Are you down for that? Yeah. yesterday we um caught up with a family friend and we were down by the harbor we just came back here and chilled out because honestly waking up at 3 30 in the morning on that day had just absolutely wrecked me so we've got uber eats but we're feeling ready and refreshed today we're going to get a nice breakfast and then i don't really know what we're going to do with the rest of the day do you have any wants or needs see where the tide takes us let's see where the tide takes us Stay there for three weeks. If you just go sit there, oh, you go with your dad. <laughs> Back home now, and oh my god, you guys, the Bruno show was so bloody good. Like, I literally, I can't even gather my thoughts about, like, you know, I can't think about what my favorite song was. Like, it was just, it was so good. You think, even I've seen them four times, and that there hasn't been a new album between the last two shows that you know, it might be much of the same, but he changed it up and like, honestly, Bruno could do no wrong in my eyes. So I had the best eye and like, I'm still on such a high, but anyone who loves concerts can relate to this because I'm definitely in post-concert depression now. Like every time I think about it, I'm like 
happy but sad. I thought I'd use this as an opportunity to tell you guys about two wonderful moments in my life, which was two moments where I got to meet Bruno Mars. The fact that I have met him twice is just incredible. The first time I met Bruno was in 2011 and he was on his very first tour to Australia, the doo -wops and Hooligans tour and I won a competition through his uh, his website, like his fan site. So I got to go with my two best friends at the time. I remember being so nervous and so excited to meet him. You know, we shook hands and I remember his hand being like abnormally soft, which is a weird fact. And the music video for the Lazy Song had come out that day. So I got to talk to him about that um, and we had a good chat and then we took our photo and he was like, thank you for being a fan. And oh my God, like it was, it was such a small moment, but it was just so cool. The second time I met Bruno, I actually also won a competition through a radio uh, contest and I got flown to Melbourne and this was so much cooler because there was probably about 20 or 30 of us and it was just like a small intimate setting. He was up on stage and we got to ask him questions. I remember that I made some kind of like dirty joke, like not really a dirty joke, but like he said something and in response to that, I kind of said to myself, oh, I know what I would do with Bruno tonight. And he was like, I'll do anything except whatever that was. I asked him about when he was on SNL and he talked about that and how there were skits that he did that didn't end up making it to air and it was the first time he was performing his new album so he was a bit nervous about that. And like, I got to meet some of the band and I said hi to Phil and like that was the coolest experience. There was meant to be a third time in the middle of those where I was selected to do like a, a webcam uh, video conference thing with him when he was launching Locked Out of Heaven. So it was going to be like a live premiere and I was meant to be on there. I was meant to get to ask him a question, but to this day, <laughs> it hurts my soul because I had to test the speed of my internet so that way they knew that I wouldn't drop off and the connection would cut off and my internet wasn't fast enough. And I drove to all different places. I tried all different connections and the internet in South Australia at that time was really bad. So could have been three times, but it was two. Two beautiful, marvelous times that I'm incredibly grateful for. I don't wanna say they changed my life, but you know, I think when you admire someone so much and you get to actually meet them and you get to see that they're just as nice in person, it's just like, you know, it just, it warmed my soul. Thanks for joining us on our little Sydney trip. I know it's a pretty short vlog, but I had the best time and I hope you guys enjoyed watching. See you guys in my next vlog. Peace out.